Welcome to Virtual Goldschmidt Theme 15, Session D, The Origin of Life on Earth and Beyond. I'm Ariel Anbar from Arizona State University. And I'm Sarah Russell from the Natural History Museum in London. Ariel and I will be the co-chairs of this virtual session. But before we get going, we'd like to thank Adina Payton from UC Santa Cruz. She was the driving force behind this session and without her, it wouldn't have happened. So what is this session all about? Since the dawn of civilization and probably before that, humans have wondered how life began. More recently, as we've come to understand Earth's place in the universe, we've wondered about the prospect of life emerging on worlds other than our own. In this session, we're going to explore some of the latest discoveries and hypotheses about the origin of life on Earth and beyond. This topic is highly interdisciplinary. It brings together biologists, chemists, astronomers, planetary scientists, and geochemists. And so the format of this session will cover a lot of ground. We've invited four brilliant speakers to help us do that. Each will talk for about 15 minutes, taking us on a journey through time and space, from exoplanets around other stars to the early Earth and back outwards to habitable planets in our solar system and elsewhere in the galaxy. After you watch the talks, you'll have an opportunity for live discussion. We have two discussion sessions scheduled on Thursday, 25th of June at 8.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. Hawaii time. You're welcome to submit questions in advance or live during these periods. Now let's introduce our speakers and their topics. The first speaker is Natalie Batala, Professor of Astronomy and Astrophysics at UC Santa Cruz. She'll talk about the plurality of worlds, diversity of exo-Earths and the implications for life. The past decade has seen explosive growth in exoplanet discovery, which has transformed our ideas about the possibilities for life on other worlds. What was once fringe speculation is now mainstream science. Professor Batala will survey what we know about the diversity of these worlds and what the next wave of observations may bring. We'll then return to Earth for talk number two by David Diemer, Professor of Biomolecular Engineering, also at the University of California, Santa Cruz. Hydrothermal vents or hydrothermal fields, where can life begin? In addition to exoplanet discoveries, the past decade has also seen a resurgence of interest and new insights into the origin of life on Earth, with implications for where we might find life beyond. What are the latest ideas about the environments in which life might emerge? Professor Dima will review the debate about whether life emerged on land or on sea. The search for extraterrestrial life increasingly shapes our exploration of the solar system. The third talk will be by Tori Holler, research scientist at NASA Ames Research Center. The planetary context for life. From the plains of Mars to the depths of Europa's ocean to the plumes of Enceladus, our focus has been to follow the water. What are the limits of that approach? As we begin to explore those places in depth, what comes next? Dr. Holler will help us to understand. And finally, as we look to worlds orbiting other stars, how Earth-like do they need to be to support life? Hilary Hartnett, a professor at the School of Earth and Space Exploration and the School of Molecular Science at Arizona State University, will discuss exoplanetary ecosystems. What do we know and what do we need to know? What are the critical features of our world that must be present elsewhere for life to be found? Can water be our guide again? And can there be too much of a good thing? Professor Hartnett will explore these questions. We hope you enjoy these provocative presentations and we look forward to your questions. <laughs>